guys, so I've got another video for you. Um, it is teacher's ball for me tomorrow, so it's basically like a prom. Um, so this is going to be like filmed in two stages. First things first, I'll show you the dress. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, it's from ASOS. I will link it in the description bar below. Um, it's quite hard to actually get it all in. Um, but basically it's as princessy as you probably will get. It's, it's a short dress, um, it's in the colour coral, coral pink. Um, it has this gorgeous sort of jeweled design there on the front and it is a boob tube essentially, but it also has this lace netting at the top there so that actually it's not going to be one of those annoying boob tubes that comes down. So it's quite sheer and then the back is completely cut out. So kind of hard to show you at the minute so basically the back is not there at all um, and you've got that lovely gap there and absolutely a massive pink fan so it just had to be pink for me and it had to be like girly um, so that's the dress so moving on to the accessories bag wise um, I bought this new look it was $7.99 and it's just a simple nude clutch bag um, like so and I thought that would be really nice to accompany the dress. And then shoe-wise, also from New Look, I think, let's have a look how much they were. Um, $17.99. Um, I've got these lovely um, nude shoes. Um, they've got the toe out there. And they've just got, it's quite a nice size heel. It's nothing massive. I didn't want to be absolutely crippled in pain at my teacher's ball. So um, I've literally just got... And I thought they looked quite nice with the bag and the shoes. But you will see that um, later on in this video. And I forgot to add, I will also be wearing um, the number 7 Stay Perfect nail colour on my nails. Um, I went out and got this nude colour especially for my teacher's ball. Um, I thought that I'd just look really good with the outfit and team it together quite well. Okay, so I've just had my hair done by the hairdresser and um, I'm really happy with it um, and now it's time to do my makeup so I'm just going to go through with you um, what makeup I'm choosing and how I'm going to apply it etc. Um, so first of all I'm just going to take a cotton pad and um, the Lizzo Instant Tonic Boost Skin Toner um, just to make sure my skin's nice and clean and ready for makeup. So um, next up I'll be using the MZ Minion Facial Moisturiser um, just to make sure that my skin's nice and soft and ready for makeup again. Okay so now my face is moisturised I'll be applying some of the Professional Primer by Benefit. Um, this gives a really silky smooth finish to the skin, it's a really good base for foundation. Okay, so as you may be able to tell, my skin isn't perfect and I do have blemishes and pigmentation issues and such, so I'll be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and applying it with my Eco Tools Concealer Brush. Just going to hide any blemishes or redness in my skin. Now I'm pretty much concealed, I'm going to be using the Perfection Lumiere by Chanel foundation and to apply it I'm going to be taking my Sigma Round Top Kabuki Brush F82 and I've just made it a little bit damp so I've just put some water on it so that the foundation applies a little bit more smoothly, I find it gives a really good finish like that. Just going to dot a few, thing, a few foundation blobs around my face and then work it in with the brush. up I do my eyebrows and I fill them in using the browsings by Benefit. Um, inside you just get a powder and a wax sort of material and I'm using my just a simple angled line 
liner brush to apply it. Okay, so next up um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Now I'm wanting kind of a pretty neutral um, eye, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. Um, the brushes I'll be using is a MAC 226, a special edition version, a small Sigma blending brush, E25, and the MAC 217 blending brush. Um, I'm actually going to start off though by applying the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in RSVP um, because this is a really nice champagne um, colour and it will be a nice base for my eyeshadow and I'm using the Benefit's Cream Shadow Brush so I'll just apply a little bit of that all over my eyelid Next I'm going to be applying um, some eyeshadows from the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. Um, I'm going to probably start off with the shade Venus which is the only shimmer in this palette. I'm just going to work this in, in my inner corner of my eye. Next shade is Foxy, I'm just going to work along and put those three colours Foxy, WOS and Naked 2 just on the base of my eyelid. I'm just using all three just to give a little bit of depth to my eyelids. And then I'm going to take my MAC 217 blending brush and just blend that in a little bit. So now I'm just going to take the Naked 2 colour, which is a subtle sort of beige, beigey brown. I'm just going to apply that to the creases of my eye just for a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to switch over to my original Naked palette. Um, and with my MAC 217 brush, I am going to add the shade Book, which is a sort of a dirty brown colour, just to the creases of my eyes, just lightly. I don't want to apply too much, but I want a little bit more depth there. Now, taking um, the shimmery black shade in Creep, again, I'm going to add that to the creases with the Sigma blending brush. As you can see now, I've got quite a harsh line. Um, then taking my MAC 217, because in my opinion, this is the best blending brush, I'm just really going to blend that line out. On top, for a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to take the colour Sidecar. And just kind of go over my whole lid with that still blending out the creases and then t returning back to my MAC 226 brush I'm going to take the shade Sin in the Naked palette which is a shimmery champagne colour and again go over um, the corners of my eyes just to make them pop out a little bit more Then I'm going to repeat that step and take the shade Virgin, which is very similar to the Shimmer Venus in the Naked Basics palette. Okay, so I think I'm happy with my eyelids. And um, so now it's time for mascara. Um, first, I'm going to prep my lashes and curl them with this, just some basic eyelash curlers. I've just realised that I've missed out a step in my um, makeup. I'm actually going to be doing um, gel eyeliner on my upper eye, 
So um, I'm using the MAC Black Track and I will be using the Benefits Get Bent liner brush to apply it. Just take a little bit on the brush. Okay, so now I'm happy with that, I can go on to curling my lashes again and doing my mascara. The mascara I'll be using today is the Mega Plush by Maybelline. It's a new one as you can see, so I need to open it up. Okay, so first impressions is the brush is quite wobbly. It's definitely got that flexibility that you spoke of. Um, the brush seems pretty good though, so let's give this a go. It feels quite weird actually, it's quite feather-like, like the adverts. Okay, so I want quite big lashes, so I'm going to also take the Rimmel Glam Eyes Lash Flirt Mascara and just apply some on top. Okay, so I'm just about happy with my eyelashes. So um, I'm going to be taking a eyeliner and it's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in Perversion. It's like the blackest of black colours. Just going to be putting that on my waterline. Moving on to face powder. Um, I've got just a standard number 17 powder. As you can see, it's about gone. I need to get some more. And I will just be taking my MAC... 129 special edition brush to apply it all over my face. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Skindinavia setting spray and just spray that slightly over my face. Next up, I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer and blusher, and I'm using the Naked Urban Decay, Urban Decay Flush Palette rather. And for that, for my blusher, I'm going to take another MAC 129 Special Edition brush and just dust a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to take the bronze powder and use a... Um, just a brush that I've got in a set, just a standard purple sort of angled contour brush and just take some of the bronzer and just sort of run that down along underneath the apples of my cheeks. So basically if you suck your face in like so, just follow that line. I must say that on camera I look really really pale because I'm filming in sort of daylight which is not the best lighting but I can assure you I don't look as pale in person so I'm just going to apply some under the chin area like that and also a little bit to my neck to blend it out fully. And the temples along the hairline just a very subtle bronze, I really like this. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. bronzing brush, like so, and I just use it for the highlight colour, so I'll just dab a little bit of on for highlighter and just, just put it where I want highlighting. I don't like too much highlighter because I do suffer with oily skin, so um, I'm just going to put some under the brow bone as well. Then I'm going to take some of the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is like a holy grail product for me. It really is really good. Last but not least, onto lips. I'm going to be taking the Popcorn Lip Scrub um, from Lush just to remove any excess skin on my lips. 
any dry skin that might be there. This tastes so yummy as well, so it's worth doing. And then afterwards you can wipe it off or lick it off, it's up to you. Mmm, yummy. Then to help nourish my lips, I've got the Body Shop um, Born Lippy Just a Lip Balm. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my lips. Lip colour, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Caress in Dating Coral, as my dress is pretty much a light coral colour. On top I'm going to put the L'Oreal Stain Splash um, lip gloss in Romy just over the top. I know it's not um, the right colour but I just want to give it my lips that little extra stain of colour so that it might last a little bit longer. So there we go, there's my finished makeup look. Okay, so here's the finished look. Um, I've got my clutch bag, I've got my Thomas Sabo bracelet on, um, my hair makeup as you saw is all done. Um, I'll just give you a little twirl. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you want to subscribe as always please do and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!